Hi everyone, welcome back to How We Homeschool. So, if you can't tell, I am currently in the hospital with an unexpected um, emergency gallbladder removal surgery. So this has helped me to think even more about the importance of our homeschools and what's relevant and not relevant. So I wanted to do a quick video on five things that we've never used in our homeschool after 15 years of homeschooling. And some of these things are probably going to shock you, but it is the 100% truth. Um, number one would be we've never had a separate room for our homeschool. So our homeschool was um, kind of in our front family room area because I wanted our homeschool to feel more like home and not a school. So I wanted, when we were reading, I wanted to be able to sit on the couch with my children and read a book in comfort, maybe throw a blanket over us. If we were doing an art project, I wanted an art project to be done at the kitchen table. Um, just things like that. So 100% truth, we've never had a separate room and I have enjoyed that actually. I am glad it, it always has worked out that way. Okay, number two, it's gonna be shocking, but it is the truth. I have never owned, never dedicated a spot on the walls of my house to a large chalkboard or a large whiteboard. I have never felt the need to stand up in front of a room to lecture or teach something to my children in that manner. I never felt like it was a personal thing to do, I guess, not sure how to put that, but we have always owned for 15 years, whether it be for each child or I've just owned one in recent years and just used them for multiple children. The little whiteboards from the Dollar Tree, uh, the size of a piece of paper, you know, no bigger than like a book. So it's always just sat with their schoolwork. And whenever I've needed to teach something that required uh, a whiteboard and erasing it, I just pulled that out and we worked it out together right there side by side. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can believe it, but <laughs> it's true. Okay, and number three would be for 15 years, we have never owned an electric pencil sharpener. Doesn't matter what it is. Plug it in, battery operated, never owned one. We never even owned one of those really cool ones, which I always thought would be really fun to own. Uh, was the old, the old time uh, ones that you see in the schoolhouses that we used to use when we were younger in the public school, um, where the child just goes and puts her pencil in and, and spins it and it sharpens the pencil. I've never owned one of those either. That would actually be fun to own. I would like to own that. but never came across one uh, and we've never purchased an electric pencil sharpener. We've always used the tiny uh, one dollar ones from the Dollar Tree or Walmart and I've just kept them in a pencil box or a pencil pouch and whenever we've needed to sharpen pencils we just sharpen them. And number four would be um, we've never owned a laminating machine or a laminator, or whatever you want to call it. I really don't even know what it's called. I've never owned one. Uh, in all these years, I have really never needed it, except for literally like maybe a handful of times. We joined a co-op one year and they wanted to laminate some maps. So I took it to Office Depot. I think I spent like maybe $3, laminated that. So. I have just never felt the need. I know people laminate like everything, but 
it, it just never made sense to me to laminate that stuff. Um, if I really wanted some form of lamination, like so that the child wouldn't write on, uh, write on, I could erase it, redo it again. Uh, then I would just uh, put it in some form of a, a really nice page protector, which they have really, really nice ones at the Dollar Tree. Um, but I've just never needed it. And I would just make the child write what they needed to write on paper or whatever it was we needed to do. So maybe you could save some money on a laminator. And number five would be if you really want to save money. Um, we have never owned any form of a rolling cart in our homeschool for 15 years, never once. Um, so my, my kids' school stuff would sit on like the edge of an office desk that I used to have in my front living room, uh, books. I also would have these um, uh, really nice baskets that you can find at like Goodwill where they put you put books in, um, really nice big baskets. So each child would have like their own basket and they'd have a group of books in there uh, that they were reading um, for that school year or, or what have you. So, and then I would just pull those books over to, pull uh, carry that basket over to the kitchen table or the um, uh, couch or outside if we were going to go outside in the backyard or wherever I needed to go. So we've never owned a rolling cart, if you can believe it. Um, and maybe you could save some money in that area too. I just want to encourage other homeschooling parents out there that you don't have to compare your homeschool to other homeschools and always be in um, want uh, to think you need things, certain things to make your homeschool happy, to make it happen. Um, it, you just don't need a lot of the things that you see on a daily basis in other homeschools um, or other homes if you go to other homes and they homeschool. So I hope that was an encouragement to you. Um, if you have any comments, you can leave them below or you can always email me at howiehomeschool3 at gmail.com.